Hi, it's Laura here, the Director of Training from Business Academy Online, and we'd like to welcome you to our new YouTube channel, where we're going to be focusing on all of the key models of the SIPs qualifications across all levels. And this one is the Total Cost of Ownership. Total Cost of Ownership, or Whole Life Cost, is the cost of an item over its entire life. And it includes a ton of different costs but I find it helpful to put them into five major categories. And we're gonna drill into each of these. That's pre-acquisition, acquisition costs, operating costs, maintenance costs, and disposal costs. In this video, we will go through all five. Why do we need to look at the whole life cost? Well, something that is the cheapest may actually cost us more over the entire life. So we want to make sure we're getting the best value for money by looking at the entire life of that purchase. So as an example, let's say we are buying a machine for our production line to make these weird looking biscuits. The first category is pre-acquisition costs. Included in pre-acquisition costs is anything prior to paying. So that includes things like researching costs to find the supplier, negotiating with them, and if they're international or we've never used them before, we may want to do a supplier visit and audit. All of that takes time and costs us a little bit of money. Acquisition costs is our next category. That is much more than just the purchase price. It's looking, yes, at what we've paid, but also the delivery costs, which can be quite substantial if you're getting it from halfway across the world. Installation costs of getting that machine installed in your production line, training staff on how to use that machine, and ideally we would use more of a Kanban system, so buy spare parts with the machine at the same time. That means we always have one set of spare parts in hand and we won't break down and run out and cause our production line to stop. Operating costs. There are a ton of different operating costs. These ones though are the major ones that I see in this area. Operator wages, these are the wages of the people operating the machine on the production line. The energy that the machine is using, whether that's electric, gas and so on. And insurance to cover any damage for that machine. And perhaps even damage to the workers from using that machine. Maintenance costs. So maintenance costs fit into two major categories. These are planned or preventative maintenance. So essentially your scheduled maintenance to keep that machine running well. And corrective maintenance, which is when the machine breaks down and needs repairing. Disposal costs. Disposal costs are quite complicated and deserve a thorough examination, but I like to think of it as all of the Ds. So we've got decommissioning, which is essentially taking part a machine safely and disposing of all the parts. That's if it's got chemicals and so on, it's particularly important. Disassembly, no disassemble, which is all about um, dismantling that item. And depreciation is the loss of value of that machine from when we purchased it. Remember that life cycle costing is the process we go through to establish the total cost of ownership. We hope you found this useful. Please click the subscribe button, check out our courses and watch all of our other model videos. Thanks for listening.